they gotta be kidding us and I see a lot of angry MEPs tomorrow. Hopes for a last minute deal are fading. The weekend also goes by without the EU and London reaching an agreement. But negotiations continue. Great Britain and the European Union are still negotiating an agreement for the British to leave the EU. Well, not to leave, but for the time after they left the customs union and the single market. EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen and Prime Minister Boris Johnson have now extended a deadline that originally ran until Sunday. The sticking points have not changed for months. Fishing, fair competition and the question of how agreements are legally enforced in the event of a dispute. Although what we heard today is only fishing is left there. Great Britain and the European Union want to continue their Brexit talks on Monday, according to to an insider. The negotiations on a trade agreement remain difficult according to British government circles on Sunday evening. In addition, consider considerable differences of opinion remained. The teams have been negotiating all day and should continue tomorrow, said the insider. In the Brexit negotiations, no agreement had emerged over the weekend either. The UK and the EU have recently repeatedly called for concessions from the other side. The time for an agreement is pressing because a deal would have to be approved in an urgent procedure in various parliaments around Christmas. Many deadlines had recently passed without result. The European Parliament had set a final deadline of late Sunday evening. So, when I'm filming this in two hours. By then, a completed commercial contract must be available because otherwise the MEPs would not have enough time to examine. In London, however, it was said that the only deadline was December 31st. Should an agreement be reached in the coming days, it could, however, come into force for the time being and only be ratified later by the EU Parliament. The EU Parliament is likely to be damned angry now and it is questionable whether the MEPs will still play a welcoming part because being treated like this, it is really going to be time for the European Parliament to show that they are important. They are elected and they play an important role. And many of us are waiting for quite some time now that the Parliament will really put its foot on the ground. And this could really be the drop that makes the barrel overflow, as we would say with the German proverb. The moment of truth has come, said Barnier. I can't say what will happen on the final stretch of the negotiations. The most difficult points were being discussed, in particular the issue of access to British waters for European fishermen. Great Britain officially left the EU at the end of January, to which it had belonged since 1973. The transition phase ends on December 31st. Well, when I publish it, it's almost only 10 days left during which the Kingdom still has to apply to EU rules. Without a trade agreement, experts expect higher tariffs on many products and long waiting times at the border, no access for the services in, in the most part, and so on and so on. One of the main points of contention, as I said, is future fishing quotas in British waters, which is particularly important for France. There were also disagreements about rules on fair competition and the question of jurisdiction and disputes, but those two points are supposed to be not the sticking points anymore. It's really only about this idiotic fishing. And of course, it's important for French fishermen, it's important for other European fishermen, it's important for the UK fishermen, but it's not important for anybody else, except there's one thing. The UK wants free, full access to our single market. And for those who still haven't understood that, I have, as I can see it in the comments, fishing is one of the prices you have to pay for this access nobody else has. Besides the fact that a lot of those quotas were sold off outside the UK, which UK fishermen could have used all the time, but they didn't because they were just sold. But anyway, the next days are gonna be the same as today. You, we're gonna still not know what's going to happen we're all going to be more and more annoyed of this really, now really ridiculous theatre. It's about the future of millions of people. 
There are millions of people on both sides of the channel in danger of losing their jobs and millions of others who don't know how the hell they are going to work from January 1st. And they are still playing this game. And I believe, and I must admit that, um, I think too that Phil, is, Phil Moorehouse from, from a, a different bias, for example, is right there. I believe Boris Johnson does want a deal. But as you could read in many German newspapers at the moment, he is afraid not only of the ERG, they will vote against anything, no matter what Francois said today. He is afraid of the MEPs of the former Red Wall. If they tell him they won't vote on certain things because they're going to lose their seat in the next election immediately again and it's becoming a Red Wall again, that's what he's afraid of. He's trying to find a way to persuade his own party to come along with a deal because I'm sure at the moment, after all I've seen, that he does want a deal, otherwise he would have walked away ages ago. He just doesn't know how to sell his deal to his own people. And that tells you a lot about the situation. So he needs his symbolic victory. Yes, Phil, you're right there. We always knew he, he needs some victory to do that. But it's getting ridiculous. Nevertheless, I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.